Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light always. I return to source. I return to sender any ne uh, negative energy and intent against you and your loved ones immediately and permanently. Anything the enemy stole from you is being returned to you. Any evil or negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on here. We have a Queen of Cups followed by this. Oh, Lord Jesus, Seven of Wands. Let's hope it's a good day. So someone out there, you could be a Queen of Cups. Regardless if you're a man or a woman, your character is being shown for what it is. The truth is being seen about you. There may have been some type of illusion going on in the past about you. People were telling a lot of lies, telling people that you were either mentally retarded, delusional, you know, incompetent, lazy, not knowing what you're talking about. But that's because there was a motive behind what people were doing. It was to steal something from you or to block some type of opportunity from being given to you. They weren't just doing this to you, they were doing it to someone else. Whoever you were supposed to be connecting with, whether it's business or personal, they were gaslighting this person because they didn't want this person connecting with you. So they weren't talking down about this person. They were talking down about you to this person, okay? Um, and they knew the whole time what they were doing. They, the person they were talking to, they didn't know, but they knew. Okay, so they were gaslighting him or her, and then they were lying on you, slandering your character, defamation, all kinds of wahala going on. Wahala today, wahala tomorrow, wahala for breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything else in between, and then some. There is absolute clarity going on. There could be a queen of cups as well facing some legal issues because of something they did. Someone was wanting to bring you legal issues, but it looks like they're facing legal issues. So the truth is being seen. You could be a queen of cups yourself and the other person could also be a queen of cups, but they will be in the reverse because they did something malicious and queen of cups don't behave that way. So they wanted to bring you problems, but now they have problems. There could be people in here that accept that money from the piper is what I'm hearing. And you know, when you accept money from the piper, somebody's got to pay the piper. And when the piper comes to collect and you don't have his or her money, it's a problem. It's a problem. So there could be a group, I'm telling you, legal issues. There could be a group of people facing legal issues, uh, problems. They owe the piper, but they can't pay it back. Someone may have borrowed money from someone. There was a lot of networking going on behind the scenes. But just know that whatever is coming off of this situation, you are going to win. You're being guided to stand your ground, protect yourself, say what you have to say and mean it. Stay loyal to yourself. Because none of these people are loyal to you. So whatever the situation is, whatever the matter is, stay loyal to yourself, right? You are sharp-witted. You are not delusional. People may want you to feel like you're delusional and don't know what you're talking about, but you are right on the money. Don't let anyone call you to gaslight you. Someone may want to send you a message because they want you to have a conversation with them. They want to pick your brain just to know what it is that you are aware of. It's like, how much does he really know? How much does she really know? Because I'm seeing a queen of cups here, I may end up seeing she, she, she a lot in this message, but please do not take that personal. It's just because of what I'm seeing. But you could be a male that's in this character, in this energy, and people are doing this to you. So just keep that in mind. You are absolutely quick witted. There's been a lot going on behind the scenes that you may not be aware with, aware of. Your enemies may be exhausted at this point. They were waiting for you. They've been waiting for you to be worn out. It's a dude, just this last thing, this last action is going to wear them out. And then you wake up the next day all bright eyed, bougie tail going on about your day, wishing people a happy day. If it's a Monday, a Friday, whatever it is, you are happy as can be, content in life, and they don't know what the heck is going on. They're like, we've done everything to wear you out. You should not be moving at this point. What the heck is going on? And you're like, well, uh, that's not how it works for me. 
that may work for you, but not for me. I am content with ink. So I already know how this is going to end because collected, like I said, you're sharp. You're quick with it. You're intuitive. Things are revealed to you. You need to pay attention to your dreams. Not just the dreams you're working on, but the, the messages you're being given in, in when you go to sleep. You may not even have to go to sleep to receive messages from your ancestors in the universe. You need to pay attention. They're trying to communicate something to you. They're trying to give you messages. These people could be working behind the scenes trying to block your messages. They cannot, right? These are people that will block your dreams and things like that. But if you're someone like me, you don't need to be asleep to see what you need to see. I can be sitting right here with you having a conversation and I'm having a whole vision. And you won't know it because I'm not going to tell you. So whatever effort people make in the dream state, they said block her dreams, block his dreams. Don't let him have dreams. I don't want him to see this. It's like, uh, yeah, that's really cute. That's real cute. But um, I already saw you while I was sitting here talking to you, okay? But that was real cute though. Keep it up. Broken hearted, cause you know the truth. They didn't expect you to know the truth. Your victory is in sure, honey. People who have gotten together to steal some type of offer from coming towards you, as I mentioned before. And I'm telling you, they're brokenhearted. Burden, burden, burden. Someone is having a lot of nightmares, anxiety, because the truth is being revealed. You know too much. I'm telling you, you're not too much. Your pathway is clear. You're receiving what's yours. You are guided, right? You could be a star seed. It's, honey, it's a beautiful energy coming from you. You're someone of high moral character. Someone wanted to say that you were a fake king, a queen of cups or king of cups. The king earl almost came out, so we're going to say that as well. We want to acknowledge our masculine energies that do watch tarot and support tarot. So we apologize if we don't take notice of you all or we don't mention you all a lot in our readings. It's just, it's a natural thing when you're a feminine energy and you're doing a read, you're going to say she a lot. And if you're a masculine energy doing a read, you're going to say he. But there's a lot of feminine energy doing reading. So we tend to say she, she, she a lot. But we know you all are there. And we want to thank you for being there. And we're so sorry that we tend to disregard you all a lot in our reading as far as saying he, she. But you know energy is fluid in tarot. So we know that you are there, our beautiful brothers, supporting, right? And your lives and stories matter to us as well, but we're just in a habit of saying she, she, okay? But your pathway is absolutely clear. The divine is supporting you. Ra is seen. Everything Ra is like, I wish your mother ever would touch my sister. I wish your mother ever would touch my brother. I will be on that behind in a heartbeat. Ra is watching you. The universe is watching you, Okay? Your pathway is clear. You're being advised to keep your mind on positive things. Stay focused on the things that matter to you. Whatever the universe has shown you, a vision, a plan, stick to that. Like, okay, they're going to be taking care of everything. This cycle is almost over. I just saw the world card. I'm telling you, victory, divine intervention. You may be partnering up with a higher level soulmate. You have nothing to worry about. You're about to be networking in divine timing with your divine counterpart or your soul tribe, wherever it is. I'm telling you, these people have legal issues coming in. Legal issues. You have victory coming up and your, 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 your enemies, they have legal issues coming in. They thought they have gotten away with something. Someone may have stolen something. People may have stolen the money, a house, some type of property. They did something. And they thought they had gotten away with it. And Source was just sitting back and watching them. He said, hmm, no, 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 no. Let them enjoy. Let them enjoy. <laughs> We're going to enjoy our time a little later. But right now, let them enjoy. Okay, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It was already known. All right? Some of these people knew. They were advised to see things from a higher perspective. They were told to uh, 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 disassociate themselves from this group. But the money was too good. The money was good, good. And that punishment is going to be good, good. I'm telling you, someone wants to come in and play with their emotions. They want to come in and give you some type of offer, a friendship, love, whatever it is. It's not genuine. Now they want to have passion for you. You don't have time for that. You're focused on other things in life. This has nothing to do with you, even though it technically has to do with you. They have so I'm telling you, sorrows. These people were expecting to have sorrows. I mean, expecting you to have sorrows, but that's what's coming for them. They thought you were going to be down and out. You were supposed to lose your money. 
lose your stability, lose everything. You were supposed to lose your job, your car, your everything. Friends and family, they don't pay. Look, the King of Cups is down here. They don't pay people, your friends and families to turn against you. They have paid so many people that they may even be broke now. They said, huh. I need you to please support me on my mission to take this star seed down. I need you to support me on my mission to make sure what belongs to this star seed, this queen of cups does not return to her. And they're like, you got some money. You're going to pay me right now. I'm kind of hard on, I'm going through hard times right now. I don't have any money, but I promise you later. They're like, later, I can't be talking to you. You don't got no money. Mm-mm. No one wants to talk. You know, money talk. BS walks. Trying to give a whole speech. And they're fighting. I'm telling you. Trying to give a whole speech about later. Is it uh, later? What the heck is later? Can you spell later? When you say later, what exactly do you mean? Because later ain't going to pay my bills. That's what these karmics are telling each other. Whoever is trying to bribe them, it's not happening. They're like, I'm telling you, this is clarity. Someone cannot pay to bribe people anymore. Someone may have even paid or tried to pay to uh, uh, bribe someone in the court system so that something could go in their favor. Either paid a police officer. Listen, I said police officer and my chariot car came out, so I must be on the money. <laughs> and then I just saw the page of pentacles. <laughs> someone definitely paid a police officer to lie. I told you the universe was sitting back and was like, mm -hmm. go ahead and enjoy. Spend all you want out of that money that does not belong to you. Live as long as you want in that house that does not belong to you. But I promise you, yeah, when I'm ready for you, when I'm ready for you, you better be that happy. Like, you, you know the energy you have right now? While you're laughing and smiling, all 32 teeth are out, shining bright and everything in the sun. In the sun, listen, we're going to need you to keep that same energy. Let the vibe be consistent. You understand the assignment right now? Later, we need you to understand the assignment too. Mm. Okay. And your pathway is clear, collectives. These people are trying to walk around with a mask, which I'm telling you, they're out in the cool. Trying to walk around like everything is okay, but everything is not a okay. They're not doing okay. The corners are out in the cold. They can't pay the piper back. The piper wants to collect, but they cannot. Someone sold their soul to the devil, and the price was cheap. They thought they were going to wipe out a star seed, but the Lord said, oh, heck no. You got to do time. Okay? These people didn't expect you to survive. They said, what the heck? You should not be out and about. You should be devastated about all we've taken from you. You lost everything. Some of you don't lost your husbands to karmics. Sorry to put that out there. Maybe it's still a painful spot for you for us to bring this up. But I'm so sorry. I'm just doing my message. I'm just doing the, the, the message. I'm just doing my job, okay? So, but some of you don't lost your husbands to karmics and things like that. Let them go. They were doing you a favor, Okay? Some of these people have caused you to lose your job, lose your home, interfere with your family dynamic. You were happy with your children. They went and caused CPS on you to have your children taken away from you. And the Lord interfered. Listen, honey, it was all divinely guided to be, right? And now these people, they don't know what to do. They are down and out, down and out, down and out, and will not be recovering. Meanwhile, you're headed to victory. They were planning, planning to send someone in. Someone was supposed to come in and give you some type of offer. It was supposed to seem like a promising offer, a solid offer, but it's not. There's ulterior motive. With these types of people, there's always ulterior motives. Like, come on. How many times are you going to do this, Karen? How many times are you going to be doing this, Baron? Tyron? Janiqua, aren't you guys tired of being in this karmic situation? This karmic community is not going nowhere. They all accept the bribery. Hey, I have $2,000 for you. I need you to go and do this to this Darcy. Hey, 
I have $40,000 for you. I need you to put a camera in her house, put a recorder in her house, record her phone calls, record his phone calls so we can set them up. And the whole time the universe was sitting back like, okay, <laughs> this is real entertaining. What else? And they were letting them do whatever they wanted to do. And they thought you didn't know. And now they're having to move on. But where are they moving on to the prison? Who knows? Who knows? Someone is separating themselves from a group. I'm telling you, these people are going through an ending. Towers. It's a rule awakening. It's a lot of truth being exposed. Someone out here keep wa keeps watching terror readers and they are frustrated. They're angry, bitter, pissed off because these terror readers that know what they're talking about, they keep revealing something and someone does not want them talking about it. Say, Shut up! Shut up! You're revealing too much. Law enforcement is watching. Shut up! They're doing shut up spells behind the scenes, going to practitioners to do shut up spell, death spell, sickness spells, and none of it is working. People are still doing their readings and revealing the truth. Best believe there are law enforcement officers that definitely watch tarot. They rely on tarot because they know people that actually know what they're doing. They're telling the God honest truth and they can rely on the information, but they will never tell you that. Thank goodness. That's a secret weapon. That is a secret weapon some law, law enforcement officers use, like PIs and things that they use, tarot, some of them. Because they know there's truth in there. And someone is yelling, shut up! Shut up! This union, this celebration is over. Your enemies are no longer celebrating while you are about to be connecting with your soul tribe. I'm telling you, your pathway is illuminated. It's clear. The truth is revealed. You are being seen as someone who is pure-hearted, genuine, very kind, and extremely protected. You are so protected, it's pissing your enemies off. You said, but she's right in front of me. You want to tell me I can't touch? I don't want to touch her. You're like, no, you can't touch that star seed. You can't touch that star seed if you don't want people around you falling to the ground and not getting back up. You can't touch that star seed. But she's right there. Right there. Just two more steps. I know where her door is. I know where her house is. Say, you can know where her house is all you want. If you go to her house on your way back home or on your way there, you're not going to like what happened. Even if you make it there, after the aftermath is not going to be pretty. Okay, someone, there's someone watching you. Star sees there is someone watching you in some way, shape, or form. If you have a social media platform, someone has been watching you because they've been trying to come up with a very logical way on how to approach you to give you some type of false friendship. Okay, they think they can come in and gaslight you. They think they can come in and manipulate you. Someone is trying to find out how much you know so they can report back to the rest of the minions, right? The, the rest of the, uh, 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 the hellhounds, wherever you want. They're not even sophisticated enough to be hellhounds. Have you seen the hellhounds in movies? Like you remember the TV show Supernatural? You saw those things? Okay. They're not even that sophisticated. But someone is watching you and reporting back to the rest of the uh, uh, minions Hey, she knows, he knows. What do you want me to do? Hey, I don't think they want to be my friend. They blocked me. Hey, he's like, oh, what do we do? We need this person to befriend us so we can trick them into supporting us when we go to court. We want them to show up to court with us so the court can see that we are friends and bygones are bygones. We've crossed this little barrier we've put everything behind us we're friends no we're not friends collective maybe i'm speaking for you but no you are not friends you are not friends it's a mental illusion it's a it's a it's a manipulation tactic they're using okay don't let these people manipulate you and even though they know they cannot take you down they're still working overtime i just saw the ten of wands Okay, <laughs> this is hilarious. 
It said you're about to be out here celebrating, forming new friendships, connecting with your soul tribe, elevation in life, honey. Your your vibe is 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 just beautiful. It is beautiful. Elevation in life. Some of you may be maybe receiving promotions that people were trying to steal from you. Some type of elevation. When I say promotion, I'm not just talking talking about a promotion at work. But maybe some type of advance from a company, some type of check from the court system, some type of inheritance. There's something that's supposed to level you up in life. And this is what people have been trying to steal from you. You are coming out of a state of like. You may have been you may have gone through some type of tumultuous time. But you're going to be receiving some type of abundance, some type of uh, um, money, something like that, right? And it's going to put you in a new energy. And this is what people are trying to steal from you. They're trying to block this. It's a collaboration. It's not just one person. It's a collaboration. Some of you could get invited to events. Whoever is giving you this offer. It could be someone you end up being with or someone you end up working with. You may, Some of you may end up receiving a, 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 a promotions at work, things of that nature. And someone is working really hard to block this, but they're exposed, very much exposed. Someone is still trying to bribe behind the scenes. They say, hey, I know the last time I gave you like $3,000, but today I only have $300. Can you please... Can you please support my mission in taking this star C Queen of Cups Queen of Cups down? Is it three hundred dollars? Nah. What do you mean three hundred dollars? You gave me three thousand before. Why am I getting three hundred now? Mm mm. Why am I getting a pay cut? Nah. This should be like a tip or something. I need three thousand dollars if you want me to do what I did before. You know, there's no loyalty amongst criminals. When they all are facing their legal issues, they will be sinking like a canary. Right now, they're practicing their stories. When they call you in to ask you questions, and they ask you this, this is what you say. When they ask you this, this is what you say. When they ask you this, this is what you say. And then they go in and they don't ask in none of those questions. Oh, wait, hold up. I don't know how to answer this. They didn't tell me how to answer this question. And then the police officer, they're expecting to be there to ask them the question. Maybe he's sick that day. He can't ask the question. So they have to talk to an actual police officer that respects their badge. And they say, oh, we are done. The game is up. The game is up. And that police officer is sitting there like, yep, we will, we will rock this. Hey, time to go. Time to go. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, sit down. Don't be afraid. You love, you, you love law, law enforcement, don't you? Uh-huh. Come on in. Come on in, Caroline. The investigation room is courteous. Come on in, Caroline. It's quite okay. And then Caroline has to sit down. Caroline is not happy. <laughs> Caroline's like, I don't want to be here. My daughter gets off work at 2 o'clock. I got to go pick her up. It's okay, honey. We already know that. It's only 10 a.m. You'll be out of here before you have to pick your daughter up. As a matter of fact, we can even escort you at that time to get your daughter. But we do need these questions answered. Why did you forge this person's signature and took money except their, their inheritance? Why did you forge this person's signature and, you know, stole their house? Why did you file a false police report? Why did you all get together and lie and say that this person was retarded? What's going on? Why did you say this person sent this message when they didn't send this message? How come you said this person read this email when they, when you never sent the email you were supposed to send? Oh, it's getting juicy, Collective. I love it when karma comes back. And the whole time they're trying to get a hold of you, you're like, mm, 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 I'm busy right now. I'm busy. I'm busy right now. I'm busy right now. You're probably not even responding to these people. You're busy living your life. I'm telling you. Yep. They were planning, but they can't. They said you overcame your, your, your enemies. They didn't expect you. This is what they were planning for you, but they cannot. They said they were coming in to defeat you. And then it was that, oh, uh, source was that, excuse you. Mm, yeah, not this one. 
You can do him, 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 and him because they're refusing to heal and do the work that they were here to place here to do. But this one right here, yeah, this one right here, don't touch that one. Don't, do not touch that one, okay? So they were trying to defeat you, steal everything from you, have you left out in the cold source to have absolutely not. We will not be permitting this shenanigans anymore. They will be having a brand new passionate beginning in life, love, friendship, whatever. Their creativity, their imagination, their gifts, everything belongs to them and they will be keeping it. However, you all, <laughs> yeah, it is time for us to enjoy. Remember when you were enjoying and we told you to keep that same energy for later? It's later. How you doing? And this is the Maya. It's at the door that it's me. Come out and play. Come on in, Caroline. The water is great. Come on in, Caroline. Come into the light. And I know <laughs> I'm not ready yet. That we don't give a crap if you're ready. We we told you to keep the same energy. We want to see all 32 teeth out, smiling with boldness and bliss, just like you were before. And they're trying to hide, trying to hide, but they can't say, where are you hiding? Who are you hiding from? But someone, I just saw the two of swords. Someone is determined to come in to cause, cause some type of delusion, illusion. They said, honey, 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 we're going to need you to accept your humble pie. Take that big old slice of humble pie that's been given to you and eat it. Okay? That we even made it your favorite one. You like cherry pie? We made cherry pie. You like pecan pie? We made pecan pie for you. Okay, this is the supreme of the supreme, the cream, the crumb. Okay, pie. We're gonna need you to eat that. You cannot give any of it to anyone else. It is all yours. Okay, so pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, any kind of pie you can think of, we have it for you. Look at no, I think I'm full. No, you, uh, 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 uh. what nonsense? What do you mean you're full? They know you know, collective. They know you know. They said, she knows. She knows. We thought we were hiding. We thought we were smart, but they know everything. Who's going to go in and be able to trick and manipulate this person for us? No one? No one? Nope, no one. They thought it was a joke before, but it's not a joke anymore. It's not a joke anymore. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's so crazy. Because the thing is, some of these people are in, in trouble with law enforcement, losing sleep, burden and everything. Losing sleep because two people want to get together. That's all it is. It's not because of anything else. But because they don't want to see two people together in abundance having this here, that's why they do all of this. And some of you, it has to do with money. They want to steal some type of elevation from you. Some of these people are not only in trouble with law enforcement, but you best believe there is a piper behind the scenes that is wanting to collect his or her money from these people because they were paid to do something and they couldn't follow through. And now the piper is here to collect. And they said, gosh, Dandy, I can't catch a break. God's honest truth. I'm telling you, your pathway is clear. You're going to be receiving some type of message. Something is most definitely being looked into. It said, hold on, hold on, hold on. The math ain't math thing. The logic ain't logic in. Something is not adding up. We have got to regroup. This is the court system of leaders of a community getting together. So, mm-mm. The math is not mathing. Something ain't right. So now they're looking into it. They are looking into it. Is that we have got to get to the bottom of this. I'm telling you. Yeah, people from your past could be involved. Like your family members. Friends. Frenemies. At this point, they're all the same enemies. They're not frenemies because you don't see them as a friend. There's no possibilities of you all being friends. But 
All of these people are involved and they're upset because you're being seen as someone who is true, who is genuine. You may be a little bit eccentric, a little bit out there with your thinking, but they're going through some type of rule awakening because you're still being seen for who you are. It said these people went above and beyond to prove that you were either delusional, uh, uh, retarded, something like that, something of that nature. And then people are watching you or people are interacting with you. Maybe you go to events and things like that or interacting with you. I said, well, hold on. This person is very smart. <laughs> like, we can't trick this person. We thought it was going to be easy to pull one over their head, but it's not going according to plan. What the heck is going on? Y'all told us this person was stupid. And you're just sitting back watching everybody take action. You say, yeah, I see this one broke into my phone on this day at this time. And he thinks, I don't know, used his computer to access my phone. This one is logging into my email and redirecting my email to other people. This one is interfering with my phone calls. This one is planting devices in my home and listening to my phone, my conversations with my family. Uh, for some of you, this one has a, 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 a camera in your home watching you. That would be your your pervert, your trafficker, the one that thinks that you and them are about to fall in love or something. They say, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, is my trafficker telling me that he's in love with me? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, are we just supposed to put this little thing behind us and just pretend like it's not there or something? Like, I'm just supposed to pretend like you weren't uh, violating my privacy or something. And I'm just supposed to pretend like, oh, he is so marvelous. She is so marvelous. I would like to give you my hand in marriage. Is that what you want me to do? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. The Carmen's are fighting. The girls are fighting. Like Azalea Bing said. Nothing is in secret anymore. Everything is exposed. Everything is exposed. Something is being looked over. Something is being looked over. They thought they could hide it. But there is new evidence, new information circulating. Something someone was trying to hide is exposed. He said, mm, 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 mm. No, don't pay attention to that. That is not true. No, I don't care what you, I don't know. I don't care how long you've been doing your job. If I say it's not true, it's not true. No, someone didn't want people to know that they, were, they had stolen some money and were hiding it. Someone stole some money and they're hiding it. They either use the money up or they're hiding it in some type of off offshore bank account, something of that nature. That's for someone specific. He said, no, don't pay attention to this information that you found or whatever you heard. It's not true. Okay? Like you know me for 15 years and I will and you know me better than this is a mother. Sucker, I know you for 15 years. That's how I know this is true. I almost spoke French on here, you all. But anyways, you're yeah, looking at her like, oh, uh, him like Heffa? Yes, you're right. I've known you for 15 years. That is exactly why I know this is true. So we are going to look into it and we are going to write this wrong. And someone who said, no, 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 no. They thought they were going to come in and just do you something and you were just going to disappear off the face of the earth, either on a live view or something, and no one was going to give a crap about you. They'd be like, well, uh, she was on drugs. He was on drugs. Meanwhile, you've never done drugs a day in your life or find you out on the street or somewhere. Oh, uh, spread out. Say, well, I told you he was loose. I told you she was loose. Meanwhile, you don't, you ain't free like that with your backpack. You don't just be giving your pack pack to anybody. These people went above and beyond, you best believe. But there was divine intervention. I'm telling you, someone's planning to come in, or they were planning to come in to do this. Give you some type of immature offer, but they cannot. There is absolute some type of divine intervention. You are being protected from this person. They're being kept out of your energy. They cannot because you know too much. You know a little bit too much about these people. And someone, this, these people are living in fear because they've been found out. At this point, it's kind of like, I don't know what's going to happen. I know something's going to happen. So I'm just waiting for it to happen. 
They may be, you know, enjoying their last meal out in the free world. Maybe enjoying their nap, their last good night sleep in your king size bed, queen size bed in the house that was given to you for some of you. You know, they're doing something, but you best believe they're falling from grace because the truth has been seen. A message that was supposed to be received has been received by the right person. Someone knows. He said, no. No. We've been doing everything to block this person. We've been doing everything to block them from receiving this message. They weren't supposed to know that. Um, but sources say, yeah, this is when I destined them to find this message out. So everything you were doing, again, was just for entertainment. All you were doing was blocking yourself. That's all you were doing was just blocking yourself. And this is justice. This is karma. This is your karma. This is your karma to be losing everything. And this is this star sees karma to be gaining everything. The will of fortune. I'm telling you, someone is not going to be able to defeat you. This is someone who is very wicked. They thought they were going to come in and defeat you. This came out sideways. I don't know why I was guided to put it in the reverse, but I was. So I'm going to leave it that way. This is someone that was guided. They thought they were going to come in and steal from you, but guess what? They cannot. They cannot defeat you. This could be someone from your past. Either a lover, a family member, someone from your past has fond memories of you, but you don't have fond memories of them. However, this person is a narcissist, okay? They thought they were going to defeat you, but they cannot. They will not. They will not be succeeding in anything against you. Someone has lost everything. And their last mean of survival is them coming in, taking some type of rash action to come in and defeat you. They will not. They may want to come in and give you some type of passion, one-night stand. You don't do one-night stands. These types of people, we don't do one-night stands. <laughs> we don't do one-night stands. This is why a lot of us are single for years because we just don't operate that way. It's very hard. For star seeds, empresses, people that respect themselves, people that are awakened, it's hard for them to just do one night stands. Because intimacy is not just another thing for us. So we're not just going to lay with you. We don't care how good looking you are. We don't care how much money you have. That's, that's irrelevant. All of that is irrelevant when you're talking to a specific group of people. Star seeds, empresses, people that are actual empresses and star seeds. All of, that's, all of that is irrelevant. Your looks, your money, your prestige, who you're connected to, who you know, who you don't know. We don't give a damn about any of those things. That's your business. Congratulations on those things, but we don't care. Okay? So someone was going to take action to come in to defeat you. They cannot because you're moving on. You're still taking action in your life right they couldn't defeat you they couldn't cause you an ending so you're moving on as well both of you are moving on but in different directions they're moving on to their bad karma and you're moving up to your good karma okay and they're being forced to walk away just like you're walking away from this person you may have walked away from this person a long time ago but they're still stuck on you because they're trying to steal something from you they don't want you being happy or fulfilled they don't want you having love they want you to be stuck on them someone thought you love them more than you do Someone has been going around telling other people, yeah, he's in love with me. He sprung over me. Yeah, she's in love with me. She sprung over me. She'll never let me go. And then only for people to find out you probably block this person. You don't want to talk to this person. When you see this person on this side of the road, you go and take a whole nother side, another road to take. Is that, uh, yeah, I don't know who you think is sprung over you, but yeah, it's not anyone over here. Okay. That like you've been moved on with your life. Your life is going pretty good. It's not perfect, but you're happy. Happier you happier now than you were when you were with this person and you don't care. I'm telling you, justice, karma, good karma. I've said karma quite a few times. You don't care who this person is with, who they're not with, whether they're alive, they're not alive. Um, if you saw this person laying in a ditch, you're not going to celebrate, but you're not going to be eager to pick them up either. I'm just saying, listen, I'm just telling the truth for what it is. 
Some of you, when you see your exes or family members that betray you, you don't wish them wrong or bad, but if you saw them laying crippled in a dish in mud, I don't think you're going to be like, oh, I need to go help them. You're probably going to look at them like, gosh, dang it, do I even want to get involved? Like, oh my gosh, source, why would you even bring me here? I don't want to see this. <laughs> I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> You all know I am not lying. You're not you're not wishing them wrong, but you're not eager to save them either. You're like you're trying to move on with your life, elevate, focus on new things and new people, new places and things. I'm telling you, you're trying to move on, taking charge of your life, standing your ground. Someone was working with a queen of cups behind the scenes, collecting donations, giving briberies and things like that to cause you some type of ending. But they're the ones going through it as it was destined to be. Like, come on. Aren't you all tired? Yeah. They were freaking trying to interfere with the connection. And this could be like either business or love. I see a few pentacles out here. This could have to do with you and someone else working together. I see the six of cups out here, the page of cups. This could have to do with love as well. The fact that we started with the queen of cups as well. This could have to do with love for some of you. You and someone else were supposed to come together to create some type of re new reality. You know, have that genuine love for one another. And people have been working to end that. They don't want that coming together. And these are bitter people, bitter Bettys, negative Nancy's, karmic Karens, all eager to put an end to something. There's a masculine in here. The fact that I'm seeing a lot of feminine energy names. There's a masculine in here. This could be your soul twins for some of you that has been dealing with a lot of women over the years. And all of them are bitter as heck because the type of women that he's been dealing with is not the type of woman he's about to end up with. These are the it girls. This masculine is moving on. You see this mess? He's moving on. He said, I want to heal. I want to know what true love is. I want to know what love is. Can you show me? Lord have mercy. I'm glad I'm not a singer because I will not be making no money. Anyways, this masculine, they're looking and they're like, what does she have that we don't have? Like, I have the big butt, I have the big breast, I have the this and the that, the, uh, Insta the Instagram body. And he's looking at, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you have that, she has that, he has that, she has that. Someone in here could be bisexual with the fact that the he, she just came out. Anyways, he's like, yeah, 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 you all have that. All 200 of you have that. And I'm still not fulfilled. I live with you on Monday, live with her on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, start back over, and I'm still not fulfilled. Some of, sometimes I have both of you at the same time, sometimes three or four of you in bed with me, and I'm still not fulfilled. But I think I'm going to be fulfilled with this star seed, so I'm going to go do the healing so I can go and try my luck somewhere else. And they are pissed off. This is what's so much specific out there. Your divine masculine, whoever he is, He's a piece of work, and he has a lot of healing to go through before he can come to you. And he's not fulfilled. This is someone that has been living like this for a long time. He thought he was the king of the world. He was on top of the world. And then he found out, oh, I like this star seed, but she doesn't like me because I sleep around. He was pissed off about this at first. That's what I'm hearing. He said, who the heck do you think are? You think you're better than me? You're probably single because then nobody want you and you're this and you're that. And then he may have tried to holler at some of you and you turned him down. He, you didn't care how good looking he was. He went to the voodoo priestess to send you magic so you would fall in love with him. It didn't work. There's something like that going on with someone here. But now he wants to heal and sail on the karma waters with you because he knows you are true. You are who he needs. He has a contract with you, something like that. There's somebody's story. Your divine masculine is out here being a loose goose, giving his pack pack to everybody. <laughs> he's giving his hot dog to anybody and everybody that wants it. And the women he's with are using him for money. And he has the audacity to be pissed off because you don't want to be with him because you know what he's been doing. So he's putting an end to this chapter. He's moving on. He's healing. He may want to have closure with you before you two can move forward. He said, ah, do I want to participate in this madness? 
Like, sir, I know what you've been doing. Because if you're a queen of cups and you showed up earlier as a high priestess, you know this masculine is a piece of work. So anyways, good luck with that one. Good luck. Good luck. But he does want to come in and present you with a love offer, hoping that you will accept it. Someone may have bribed someone else to come in and bribe you with a fake love offer. Anyways, you two will be moving forward if you decide to, or you may be meeting a higher level soulmate because you don't want to have to wait for this person to go through healing. You don't want to have to be the one to have to do other work and things like that in a relationship. But whoever you're partnering up with, you two will be successful together. You can expect to have victory. The chariot has to do with victory, moving forward, positive movement, taking charge of your life. Things of that nature. And then sometimes it can have to do with court. People may be fighting behind the scene. There could be a court case going on that you are not aware of. Your past. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Someone from your past is in the court system. Got, got themselves cut up with these people. May have expect, accepted some type of bribery. Didn't expect for it to be found out. May have may have forged your signature to receive something on your behalf, some type of money on your behalf that you didn't give them permission to receive on your behalf. And now the truth has been found out. He may be in there saying that you two are together. You were aware. You were not aware. Okay? As far as you're concerned, you don't know that mother sucker anymore. Okay? You want your money back. You want your house back. You want whatever it is he stole back. Okay? Do not show up to court with this person. As a matter of fact, if you can ask for your court day appearance to be different from theirs, you best do that. I don't know if they do that. I'm just I'm just saying, but you don't know this person. But someone in your past is definitely caught up in the court system. They may want to come in and have some type of victory with you. It will not be happening. You're moving on with your life. As I said, you are the high priestess, man or woman. You know all this shenanigan is going on behind the scenes, but you are not participating you're moving on with your life as you have been guided by spirit to do they said child just keep going on we're taking care of these who these who rats these rug rats we're taking care of them for you no need to look back go on leave this to us leave this to us anyways yeah distance distance stay over there someone is in fear someone is living in fear because they have been found out. They don't know what's about to happen. Are they going to jail? Are you going to file charges against them? Someone too is afraid. They don't know if you're going to accept them. They, they want to give you some type of love offer. And they don't know if you're going to accept this love offer. So they're afraid to come towards you. But I guess they'll never know. Yeah, they're going to have to step out on faith. I just saw the fool. They're going to have to set, step out on faith and give you an offer or extend a friendship i was this kind of person if your divine masculine is that one that has all the ladies around him and giving his pack pack out to everybody honey that's a friendship from the beginning i don't care how long you two have to be friends that's a friendship it ain't no relationship anytime soon because that brother that sister whoever has a lot of demons on them that they need to remove before you can live with them or else they're just going to pass those demons right on to you. And now you find yourself going from being divine to being karmic. The indulging in things that you have no business indulging in. Yes, you'll go from this to something else. To something else. To falling from grace. And we don't want that for you. It is too much work to get to an empress energy and just for you to fall down. Okay? But you are protected. I'm telling you, you're protected. Yep, you're still moving. <laughs> they can't defeat you. You're moving forward and they're upset. They say, remember me? This is your past. Hey, remember me? We used to be together and you loved me and I loved you. You're looking at, oh, uh, who did you love? I don't remember you loving me. I remember you taking advantage of me. I remember you playing a lot of mind games. I remember you going to Keisha house on Monday, Jesse Bell house on Tuesday, Irrelevant on Wednesday. I remember you going to non-factor on Saturday. Meanwhile, I was sitting home with the kid looking dumb like Boo Boo the Fool. Mm -mm. 
telling you, this person that's coming towards you from your past, and they're coming in a hurry. They say, who? I got to get to her. I got to get to him before this other person does. I want them to know that I've changed, I've healed. This is like you about to get in contact, in connection with your divine counterpart, and some moron from your past wants to come in and gaslight you. It's a who? I have to beat her, beat them to her, beat, beat her to him. They cannot get with my person. They see you as their person now. All those years you all were together and they neglected you all those months and they neglected you because they know someone true is coming into your life somewhere, somehow. They now know that you are theirs. No, you're not. Burden, burden. <laughs> they are burden. Someone is burdened because the truth is being seen about you. Heartbroken. Honey, I just saw the three of swords out here. What a mess. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. This was a collaboration. Someone involved themselves in something. The truth is being revealed about some type of bribery that was going on behind the scenes. These people didn't expect for this bribery to be revealed, this scheme, they were bribing people behind the scenes, right? To take action against you, Queen of Cups, or whoever you are. There could have been a Queen of Cups that was part of this community of people that were bribing behind the scenes. She could have been the head of the group. She did this to me. He did this to me. We're going to take them down. That was mine. She lied on me. It's like... This person need to do a thing to you. Someone don't even know you. The person you're going up against does not even know you. You don't even know this person. Or it could be that you all don't even know each other on an intimate level. Like this person don't know anything personal about you. But they're out here saying, she did this to me. Is it? Yeah, that's not adding up. Because the, 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 the math ain't math ain't, man. We are going to need you to go back to the drawing board just like they are. Go back to the drawing board with your minions and come up with a better story because this one you're giving is not adding up there is some type of truth has been revealed about some type of payment that was made for a group or by a group to a group to cause mayhem in someone else's life it was well thought out it was planned it was meticulous in a specific way but then Something went wrong. Someone could not stick to the lie anymore. They effed up and told the truth and they didn't realize that they told the truth. And something is being looked over and this was divine intervention for them to lie. It was a divine intervention for them to lie and for them to mistakenly tell the truth. It was meant to be. Isn't it crazy? They plotted and planned just so they could take themselves down. One the most high do it. Yes, he will. Yes, it will. Yes, she will. Whatever you view the most high as in your life, that's what it is. I'm telling you, they were causing a lot of mental illusions about a two, uh, a union, some type of collaboration. They don't want this person seeing you clearly. But I feel like this person knows the truth because this nonsense has been going on for so long. It's like you do something for so long. At some point, people will just kind of stop and say, wait, hold on. You talk about this person a lot. They don't seem to be worried about you. Someone has moved on with their life. They're not calling. They're not texting. They're not emailing anyone. They're not doing nothing in regards to you. They don't even mention you. It's almost like you fell off the face of the earth for this person. But you keep this person in your mouth. It's not making sense. So they've let this person keep this persona up for months. For weeks, for some of you, this is years that someone has been lying on you and it's just not working anymore. This illusion is not happening. There will be a new beginning between these soulmates. It may be a little challenging at the beginning, but you two will come to calmer waters. Things will be okay. There's something you two don't see about each other right now, and it has to do with what these people were doing in the background. It's like there's something they either said to you, collective, about your twin, or they said something about you to your twin, and you two don't see what you need to see yet. But when you two come together, there will be clarity. So your new beginning may be a little bit challenging, but 
it'll be clar clarified. Things will be easier. It will become easier. There may be a lot of emotions going on right now, but things will be cleared up. Right? So you two may have to wait a little bit for this union to come together. But it will come together. There will I'm telling you, there will be victory. I just saw this at the bottom of my deck. There will be victory. So everything they're doing, they're going to be pissed off at the end. They are going to be pissed off at the end. All oh, these illusions, they've been cussing. Yeah, it's not going to be working. Not working. <laughs> it's the commitment for me. We always have to give the karmics an A for effort. When it comes to execution, that's a whole different story. There is absolutely... I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles for the past few days has been rubbing me the wrong way. Someone has been wanting to take some type of action to come into a feminine energy's life to mislead them. This is not someone that genuinely cares about you, but they know that you are someone that's pure-hearted, so they may want to mislead you. However, there is another King of... And this is part, the part that's pissing me off. There's another, another uh, King of Pentacles that does have genuine intentions for someone, but there is one that is manipulative. Like, he's manipulative as heck. And this is someone doing a lot of slimy stuff behind the scenes to get things to go into their favor. This person was part of this collaboration. This person is manipulative as heck. They want you to see them as your... Twin fling, your soulmate. They're not your soulmate. This person has wasted their years chasing women around, not taking things seriously, not taking family matters seriously. Someone has not committed themselves to family matters that they should have. We all go through this stage where we like dating and stuff. You don't have to be losing stuff like you date, but some people take it to an extreme. Where they do it for so long, they think they're going to be like that forever. Like they feel invincible. And that's why it's very important for us to mature as we age. So we're not stuck in some type of immature mindset for too long. Where we get to the age of, let's say, 30, 40, 50, 60 or something like that. And we don't have a family to set away. We don't have children living with us or just children that check on us or anything. Right? Yeah, 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 you're good looking when you're younger, but that should not be all that is to you. You need to have substance to yourself because you're not always going to be young. You're going to get old someday and you want to be surrounded by family, whether it's wife, husband, children, like you want to have someone or people around you that genuinely care about you. And someone in here didn't prioritize that. He was after the women, the money, the cars. People probably showed him a lot of attention. Like women showed him a lot of attention and he fed off of that and fed into that for a little bit too long. Too long. And now they want to force some type of family dynamic with someone and that's not how it works. You can manipulate all you want, but that's not how it works. Eventually, it's not... Even if, if, let's say, even if he was successful in manipulating this person to get with him, right? The truth is still going to be exposed down the line. So let's say maybe you're in your, let's say in your 40s, your 50s or something, and you manipulate someone to get with you, you two get married. When they find out later, let's say you're in your 70s or 80s and they find out, they're going to leave you. They're going to leave you, and now you're all alone, no one to take care of you, so you just messed up even more. What do you do in that situation? That you can't even call them up and say, hey, can you please come cook me some soup? Can you please help me change? Because they don't want to. You possibly stole a future from them that they will never have, and they're going to blame you for that like they should. So you have to be mindful when you come up with these devious plans. Think about how it's going to affect you in the future. Is what I'm doing going to affect my children? If you're someone that's into spirituality, whether it's light spirituality or dark spirituality, you know there's always consequences for your actions. So is the action you're taking against this Queen of Cups or Starseed 
Is it going to affect the next generation in your family? Like, you have to look at things that way. Yeah, it may make you feel good right now to defeat someone. But what is that going to cost you down the line? That's what you need to be thinking about. But some of these people don't rationalize things like that. Things like that. They just think, well, you know what? We have the numbers. We have the money. I'm powerful. I can take them down. So I'm going to take them down. But it's, the universe is always watching. I say, okay, so you think you're more powerful than me. Hey, okay. I sit down and I watch you do what you want to do. And when I'm ready to hit you, you know, carry out your plan. But I have a plan of my own. So do what you want to do. Just know that the tables are going to be turning because that wheel of fortune is always moving. But this King of Pentacles has been giving me the wrong vibe for a few days now. The wrong vibe. It's just like, mm, I don't know about this. Like, someone, someone sees you as like their ideal partner. But they haven't done the work throughout their life to be your idea partner. And they just assume that maybe because they're successful in life or something like that, that they can just come and uh, 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 manipulate you into a marriage, a situation, some type of family dynamic. And everything is just going to be okay. It's not. There's a king of pentacles. It's like there's one that has victory coming in and there's one that has some type of legal issues coming in because something that he was planning to do has been revealed. Something like this man, whoever the King of Pentacles is that has some type of ulterior motive, whatever he was planning has been, he was planning something. Whatever he was planning has been exposed. Like he was trying to get things to go in his favor. And people are watching him. Like that's what you're up to. Like that's what you've been doing manipulating people around you someone here is very disingenuous but they come across as being genuine and things are about to flip upside down for them i'm telling you things are about to flip upside down for this person like they're about to be sat down so far down they may not be able to recover this person has a whole i'm listening nothing nothing good every time i move the deck this person, there's an ending, like some type of disappointment. Like they're reconsidering their choices. Like they have to sit down and think like, if I do this, what's going to happen? What are going to be the consequences of me doing this? Is this person going to even accept me when they find out what I did? How is this going to play out? Like he needs to sit down and think about what he's doing. I'm telling you, ulterior motives. He's not saying everything. This person has ulterior motives. Ulterior motives. Like he wants to come in and cloud your judgment. He wants you to see him as your twin flame. Like you two are mirroring each other. You two reflect each other. That's part of what the moon is. You see these two creatures, these two dogs, one on this side, one on this side. And what are they doing? Both looking up. They're mirroring each other. He wants to come in and act like he's your twin flame, but because he's that's because he's let the years of his life go to waste by chasing women around. Listen, women <laughs> giving them money, funding their lifestyles, and things like that. He's the money man, Mr. Captain. Come in and save a whole day. This is him. Like, it's not going to happen. He needs to reconsider his plan, whatever he's planning to do. I'm tell, telling the God, honest truth. This man needs to reconsider what he's planning on to do. If you're coming in someone's life and you're not coming with genuine intentions, do not come in their lives at all. Especially with the age of this man, you should know better than that. You should know better than that. Like, no one has time for all this disingenuous stuff anymore. But on the other hand, there is a king of pentacles that is coming in that actually cares about someone Oh, man. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Things like that just rub me the wrong way. It's fishy as heck. Because you never know if you're sleeping with an enemy. Conversating with the enemies. But there is someone coming into your life that does have genuine intentions for you. They are going through some type of healing and some, some type of awakening. 
Yeah, they want to grow up with you. But just be mindful, please. Just be mindful. Things like this rub me the wrong way. Say, so why are you so invested in manipulating someone to be with you? Is it that serious? Like, is this the only person on this planet? We have billions and billions of people on this planet. Why is your mind set on this one person to manipulate them into being with you? Why? It's not making sense. Someone, there's someone else that's coming in to give some type of information, but they're not telling people that which is good. There's some type of information that someone else is going to be receiving. This man coming into you, this king of pentacles coming into you is a plot by these people. This group, they're the ones sending this person in. They're sending him in to do one thing, but he has his own plan as well. They're sending him in to cloud your judgment, but he has his own ulterior motive. For some of you, he may be choosing to advocate for you, but him advocating for you, there's an ulterior motive behind there. He's keeping some type of secret, basically. Is that I don't even know why these kind of people don't choose to focus on their own lives. Like, why are you so focused on one person, someone else's life? If you already stole from someone, why keep messing with them? But obviously, they couldn't keep what they stole or they misused what they stole. Something got found out because their mouths are too loose. They don't know how to shut up. Someone in here is a narcissist, but they're being humble. It's like, someone felt very bold. They said, yeah, I can do it. Like, what do you mean you couldn't defeat this person? This is the one little person. What, what do you mean you couldn't defeat them? And then they came to defeat you, Star C, and they found out, Queen of Cups. They said, oh, it's a Queen of Cups. How hard can it be? They said, oh, okay, really? But the truth is being seen. Your character has been seen. You are someone that's in the upright. And everything people were saying about you is a, is a freaking lie. And people know that now. They're These people are trying to make a new beginning between two people as difficult as possible. As difficult as possible, but it's not going to stop anything. Nothing is going to happen later than it's supposed to or earlier than it's supposed to. So everything is happening accordingly. So I wouldn't fuss about anything. Anyways, Source, what is your message? What is your advice to us today? What would you like us to know? That was sticking out. So we have five fives, five, we have three fives, that's 15 and that's six. It said a major shift is about to come into lower life experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive, okay? So maybe the change is you partnering up with this person or maybe you're going to be receiving some type of new promotion, you're going to be changing uh, jobs. Maybe moving, something like that. Keep your mind open and on positive things, but be alert as well. Be careful. Thread with caution always. The last one is zero. It said there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. It is raining outside, you all. And this card, zero usually has to do with fresh start, right? And what does the rain do? It brings in uh, newness, right? It helps things grow, life starting, new life sprouting from the ground, just new beginnings and things of that nature, right? So anyways, 
thank you so much for watching stay blessed and i will see you in my next reading goodbye for now